Lots and lots of you guys met my channel because you were looking for thumbnail tutorials or maybe you found my how to make thumbnails like your favorite YouTuber series. Now these YouTubers use some custom fonts that aren't usually available in default Photoshop or paint.net. Maybe you're on the internet one day and you see a font that you really like, but once again, there's no references or links or the name of the font isn't there. So you were unable to figure out what this font is. Well, some time ago, I found this free software that is easy to use that has allowed me to match these fonts, find the exact fonts these YouTubers use or that I see anywhere online, or at least find a close match to it. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. So if we head over to Google, just type in font squirrel and then go to the website. Or actually you can go down here and click font identifier because that's what it's called. Now we're going to upload an image and that image it's going to use to find the font. So with this example, I'm going to use one of Tyler's thumbnails and I'm going to save the image and I've already got it saved. So you can just save it as a JPEG. And once you save it, go back over here and click upload image and double click the thumbnail that you just saved. Once you save your image, you wanna go back to the font identifier and click upload image. Then double click the image to upload it. And now this box with a blue border appears and you can resize this box actually to highlight the areas that have the font that you want to get the name of. So just resize it the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Once you're finished resizing it, just click Maturate. After you click Maturate, it'll have the crop image that you created in the previous page. You can read the tips here. After you do that, you can actually scroll down and already it has tried to match the font that you uploaded. But I don't usually go down there. What I do is click Manually Adjust. Make sure it's set to Method 1. And what you can do here is that, first of all, delete the ones that uh, didn't come out clearly. So it's created silhouettes of the fonts, the letters that it got from the image. So I'm going to delete these ones because they aren't letters. You can see here it was supposed to be an I, but it separated the tittle from the main part of the I. So I'll just delete that so that it doesn't get confused. And I'll delete this one as well. Now, after you have all the letters that are clearly and legible, click the box and enter in each individual letter. Press tab so that goes to the next one so that you don't have to keep clicking it. Already entered these ones. And L, click maturate. And here it is given us the font. It is matched the font. It is called Comics Allowed Regular. You can sample it. So if I put uh, UHC and maturate it again, I think that looks pretty similar, don't you think? Okay, let's try Mundial. Look at that. It is the lowercase i, just like in the thumbnail. So now you can just enter the name on Google or go to the link that is provided and just download it from here. And that's basically how you find your fonts from anywhere. Anywhere, just get a screenshot, save it, and upload it to Font Squirrel. And it can be for anything, not just thumbnails. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button and subscribe if you did. And guys, thank you so much for the support on that other video about how to reduce your file size to upload your thumbnail on YouTube. The support has been immeasurable and it's one of my best performing videos on the channel ever since I created the channel. So thank you for that. I've been replying to all the comments and hearting as many as I can. There's new comments every day. Thank you for that. And again, subscribe, like the video and share this with someone you know, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.